Alright, this is a lesson on composition of functions when your functions are written out as a set of points rather than an equation. Notice we have two functions here, f, which is the set of points negative 3, 5, negative 2, 7, negative 1, 4, etc. And g, which is the points negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, 4, and so on. Um, we are asked to find f of g of 3 if it exists. Now you can do this um, one of two ways. I suggest working from the inside out the same way we do with order of operations. So our first job would be to find g of 3, which means we need to go to the function where g is 3 and find our corresponding y value. Okay, so first of all, we find g of 3. Where is x? Here we go. x is 3. y is negative 1 in our g function. So we now have we found g of 3 is negative 1, so we now know we're trying to find f of negative 1. See how that works? We had f of g of 3. We found that g of 3 was negative 1, so now we're finding f of negative 1. Now make sure you're in the right function. Now we're doing f of negative 1, so we want to make sure we're in the, one, the f function. Um, and we look over to find out... Um, when x to negative 1, right here, what is our y value? It is 4. So our answer here would be 4. Okay, so you just go through the steps. g of 3 in the g function, when x was 3, y was, is negative 1. So that gave us f of negative 1. And we go up to the s function, when x was negative 1, y was 4. So that was our answer. Okay, here's another example, g of f of 4. And again, you want to probably work from the inside out, is my suggestion here. So we're going to start inside f of 4. So we go to the function that's labeled f, and we find when x is 4, what is our y value? So here we have our point, if x is 4. y is negative 2. So now we're finding g of negative 2, because f of negative 4 was the value negative 2. So we want g of negative 2. We go to the g function. When x is negative 2, what is our y value? That's right here. When x is negative 2, y is 4. So our answer is 4. And here's one more like that, and then we'll do a few more that are a little more complex. So just to get us warmed up, we're going to start from the inside out, so f of 6. So I go to the function that's labeled f, and I say, okay, when x is 6, what is my y value? Uh-oh, there isn't one. <laughs> hey, when that's the case, you would say it's undefined. And the reason that I know it's undefined is because when I look at this f function, notice none of them have 6 as my x value. So that means it's not in our domain, because it wasn't one of our possible x values, so it is undefined. The other time you can have undefined is if you um, do the first step and go to do the second step, and that happens. There's no x value to match it up with. All right, g of g of 3. So again, you start from the inside. So let's go to the g function and find g of 3. Okay, so g of 3. Do we have a 3? That's our first question. We do. When x is 3, y is negative 1. So now we are finding our g of 3 was negative 1. We're finding g of negative 1. So we go back to the function where we have g, and we want to know what happens when x is negative 1. If it's not there, it's undefined, but this is here. 
um, when it's negative 1, y is 0. So our answer is 0. All right, f of f of f of 2. And the bigger you get, the more complicated it seems. But again, what you want to do is just look at the function, start from the inside out. So first we're supposed to find f of 2. So we go up to our function f, and we say, okay, when x is 2, what is our y value? Okay, so there's the point right there. When x is 2, it says y is negative 3. So now we're finding f of f of, we found f of 2 was negative 3. Okay, so we've done the first step. Let's do the next one. Okay, f of negative 3. So we go back to the function. We'll do this one in green. When x is negative 3, what's our y value? Our y value is 5. Okay, so we found f of negative 3 was 5. So now we're finding f of 5. And we go back to the f function again, and we say, okay, what is our y value when x is 5? And here's the point over here with x being 5. Our y value is negative 9. So our final answer is negative 9. 